Oh, it's got a little nub tail. See, there's a bit of green on top of it. See, you're just checking out the area. At first glance, you definitely think this is a coral snake. He's just extending out, checking out everything. What is going on, beautiful people? We are here with a female annulated boa, annulated tree boa, and this actually belongs to the Arnold Eco Zoo. What's really interesting is we found a male out in the wild, and like I said before, their range actually borders the area we're in, so it was very, very lucky of us to have spotted that snake and have found it. And what's really interesting is I found it because it had an eye shine. This is one of the very few snake species that actually have an eye shine, like a crocodile or a frog. So I was shining outside the car, and I see the, the eyes illuminating. I was like, what is that? Is that a frog? Is that a, is, is that a bird? What is that? And then slowly it crept down. It turns out to be a snake. So I was baffled. I have never seen a snake before with an eye shine. Now what's really interesting is I didn't know that they're sexually dimorphic. And my friend Victor, who actually owns this animal here at the Arnold Eco Zoo, brought this female out, which is completely orange with these bands around, these little O's and bands, beautiful snake, whereas the male was gray, so it's pretty interesting. Another really interesting thing is, since this is a tree boa, it's ovoviviparous, and it gives live birth. Look at that, beautiful snake. So tonight, what we're going to do is we're going to head out with Victor over there, and we're going to go look for some snakes among the mounds here in RNL. So, let's see what we can find. Beautiful snake. Look at that. What an awesome specimen. Look, checking every. Oh! A little right. feisty. Oh. I could just feel the wind on my hand. Beautiful snake. What is going on, beautiful people? We've been walking along the top of this mountain right now looking for all different types of snakes and any wildlife in general. And Victor's mom, Ophelia, just spotted this beautiful little eyelash viper. It's a, it's a sub-adult and it's Christmas face, so it's green with red blotches. Uh, what I'm gonna do now is put my backpack down. I've got a stick right here that I could use. Right there now. All right, I'm gonna rely completely on you with that light. So let me put this one down. And as you can see, this is some pretty steep terrain, but it's not the first time I've had to handle an eyelash viper. Or it's not the first time I've had to handle a viper up on a slope like this. When I was in Thailand, I had to catch a white viper on something quite similar to this. Here, come from this angle, you can actually see how beautiful its face is. Look at that. Look, he's coming right onto the stick. Come on. That's good. Real gentle. He's just slowly moving on to my stick. Come on. Almost there. Look at that guys, the first eyelash viper of the trip, my first wild eyelash viper, look at this, look at that, a little sub adult, Ophelia, thank you so much for spotting the eyelash viper, look at that, thank you for putting on my first eyelash viper, look at this, so this is a little pit viper, they got hemotoxic venom, and at this size they're going to be eating things like little frogs, little lizards, and you can actually see he's targeting right now, he's shooting out the tongue using his Jacobson's organ, look how beautiful. The eyelashes are. That is how they got that name, the eyelash viper, because those beautiful extended scales on top of the eyes, their eyebrows basically. Now, it is believed they have eyelashes to keep plants and debris out of their eyes when they're sitting in the bushes. He's just extending out, checking out everything. Now, this is a pit viper, so it's part of the Viper Day family. It's got hinge fangs that shoot out like switchblades. They fold inside the mouth when closed. 
What's really interesting is they stay low as juveniles eating frogs and little lizards. And as they get older, around two feet long to two and a half feet long, they'll start eating things a little bit bigger like birds and rodents and they're found higher up in the trees at a higher elevation. That is insane. My first ever eyelash viper. Incredible. They say that eyelash vipers have one of the most beautiful set of eyelashes in the animal kingdom. One of the most beautiful set of eyelashes. All right, let's go see if we can find some more snakes. All right, guys, we're gonna put this eyelash viper away. Let him go back to the hunt. And I believe we may have found another snake. So go right back to your stick, little buddy. Right back down. Go ahead. Come on. That, not one strike, no hissing, no puffing, nothing. I just wanted to go on his way. First eyelash viper, this is awesome. Well, most of the stuff is a first. This is my second time coming to Costa Rica. Let's go see what we can find. Guys, we just found another eyelash viper. This is a very steep little area, so Victor's gonna help me get up here. I'll do I'll try. Okay, let's do this. Look at that. Second eyelash fiber. Victor, you want to grab the stick? Sure. All right, I'm going to just pop down. Okay. Look at that. Oh, it's got a little nub tail. Check that out. So something predated on it and tried to eat it yep. and lost the very tip of its tail. Let's see. What would you say? Is that a female? Well, it's so hard to tell. You're missing part of your tail. Guys, look how much different the coloration is on this eyelash viper. It's almost like an orange with just a light, light green. They come in many different phases. They come in almost like an orange completely. They come in the Christmas phase with more green like this. And then they come in the yellow phase. I am dying to see the yellow phase. This is like the most of the eyelash vipers you get to see on the Arenal area. They are like this base color, like brownish, reddish, you know, pinkish and so many variations you know some of them with green with white with yellow so i mean this is the best kind of camouflage out here right versus yep. yellow i mean if you're yellow you gotta stick to the, the flowers right yes and uh you know like this guy if you see there's a bit of green on top of it see pretty cool that is and insane. the pattern is like Nice as well. You can see like a mirror on the right side to the left side. It, it's of like his body. there's like pink blotches all over the snake's body. Being a little striking. Mm -hmm. He's just checking out the area. And might I add that Victor's mom spotted this one too. We need it. We need to tighten up our game. We need it. CWO needs to find a snake. We can't not find a snake on this trip. We found that uh, annulated boa. So I've got to find an eyelash viper. I'm in competition with Victor's mom right now. Anybody else want to handle, take a photo or anything? I think mom should get a photo again. <laughs> want to come over here into this lighting and I'll take the photo with my camera? Hang on. Yeah, okay. Those came out good. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. You don't have to take it all the way up. Yeah, I don't think I want to go all the way up there again. <laughs> I'm just going to offer this branch right here. You ready to go extendo? See you later, little buddy. Right back home. And this is not an aggressive species. Mainly when people get bit is when they're picking crops out in the fields. And people are reaching into the bushes where the fruits are. Fruits attract all kinds of rodents, which is food for an eyelash fiber. 
So they're hanging out in there and people are picking fruits. They get tagged on the hand because it's a big heat signature. It's real scary, a lot larger than a normal prey item, so they might think it's a predator. So these snakes do not purposely go after anybody. It is people putting their hands in the bushes where they can't see, and those eyelash vipers being defensive and tagging them on the hand. Let's go see what else we can find. Guys, look at this. The third eyelash viper of the night is a juvenile. Look at that. It's just a wee little baby. Another Christmas phase. Now we've got to find a yellow face. Ah, look at this, look at this snake. Snake? Yep. Oxyropus petolaria. Many bandits. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, oh yeah, don't hold at it. I need help. So guys, this right here is a Halloween snake. It is a rear fang venomous colubrid. So, mildly venomous, not too toxic. But if you look at it at first glance, it looks like a coral snake, which is extremely toxic and lapid. Now, a real good way to tell that this is not a coral snake is that the banding actually doesn't go completely around the body. It's got a white belly. But also, if you don't know what a snake is, don't mess with it, simple as that. Now, what's really cool about this snake, it's a sub-adult when they first come out of the egg. They are black with white stripes. And then they transition into black and only red banding. Look at this. So right now, this is a sub-adult snake. And you can see where as a hatchling, it had white bands. And it's slowly fading into red bands. Now what the snake was doing is he was crawling around the dirt right here, looking for little lizards to eat, sleeping in the bushes. They eat little snakes. They eat frogs. So they inject that venom, and it paralyzes them. But to me, this animal's harmless. Look at that. That is so cool. At first glance, you definitely think this is a coral snake. Look at him, he's just checking everything out. Halloween snake, that is so cool. That is insane, look at the coloration. I couldn't be any happier. I love traveling to different countries and seeing new species of snake. Such an experience. Okay, so what we're gonna do is let this animal continue to hunt because this is a nocturnal specimen. That means that this little guy's been waiting all day, hiding underneath the ground, waiting for the sun to drop so he can begin to hunt. So, he has an empty belly. Let's let him hunt. That is so cool, Halloween snake. I am so happy. This is this is incredible. What next, a fertile ants? Maybe. Guys, we just found another juvenile eyelash viper right up there in the fork of the tree. The camera's not really picking it up too well, so let me prop myself a little bit higher up in the tree. Let me get that camera. There we go. I'm going to show you guys this baby eyelash viper. Right there, there he is. Where are you going? Oh, there we go. There he is. What's up, little guy? Look how beautiful he is. Just a wee little baby. All right, guys, I'm gonna try and get down from this tree safely. Guys, is, is there something? Do I have like a, like a loose eyelash or something?
I appreciate everything. Thank you so much, Victor. A real pleasure. Guys, the RNL Eco Zoo is an amazing facility. They have beautiful snakes on display, all the native species. They will take you around, teach you about the native species. And not just that, if you guys are experienced herpers, you love snakes, you love wildlife in general, they do night tours as well. So you can book a night tour with them as well. So check it out, the RNL Eco Zoo here in RNL National Park. Thank you so much, Victor. I appreciate it. Plenty more to do. We have big plans coming up. We're talking about some Bushmaster conservation work in the future. Lots of fun stuff to come. So we'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful, stay safe, enjoy life. See you on the next one. Thank you. Oh, stay. Hey, get out of here. Go, go.